Right. Today's lesson is how to repair a cracked iPhone screen. Okay, in order to do this, there's a few things that we need. There's um, this bit, there's the iPhone 4 opening tools, which you can buy off our site, and a screen. Um, for this, we're going to use the screen assembly um, because it's by far the easiest way to do this. Um, and one thing that you really must do is make sure that you know where the screws go back when you put them back. Uh, for this, we have an iPhone 4 screen, um, screw layout diagram which shows the position of all the screws inside. Um, this one that I've got is covered in double sided tape on every screw position so we can just stick our screws to it as we take them out. Then we know where to put them back. Right, first of all we need to undo the screws at the bottom, which are these two here. Uh, on some of these we need a special opening tool. On this it's normally a star shaped tool available in the kit. It looks a bit like that one. On this particular occasion it's just a Phillips head. So we'll start by opening this. Stick them on your diagram. Okay, let's get the back off. Just clip it up like that. That's it. Off. Right, next job. We've got to take the battery out. Now, let's do this. We undo this screw here. Okay. Place it on your diagram in the correct place and next we need to use the iPhone opening tools to just lift the connector out of the way so there we go, battery connection removed take the little plate away as well while you do it be wary of where you have the plate you can put that in position on your diagram if you wish. Next bit we need to do is get the battery out. Again, the opening tools are ideal for this. Got that out, battery out. Keep that out of the way. Right. Next we've got these connectors here, the plate. Take that out. Correct place on your diagram. Continue. Doing the correct place on your diagram. You must make sure that these go back in the right place. Okay, and you've got your plate that covers it again. Onto your diagram. Okay, let's do the connection here. And you need to peel this back to be able to access all the screws. Okay. Next, we'll take off the speaker microphone assembly at the bottom. Get screws straight onto your diagram immediately. Don't want to get them in the wrong place. Okay, and we'll continue removing the motor mechanism from the top. So you see your vibration motor up here. Always screws on the diagram. Can sometimes be a little bit fiddly. See, this one's particularly long screw, you don't want to get that in the wrong place. Into your diagram, as always. Right, next we've got 
several screws here, one, two, three, four, five, holding this plate on. Okay. Now we'll just lift this up from the back. Sometimes they're just a little bit tricky to remove. There we go. The screw off and comes out when you take the plate out. Not before. Okay. Next job. Put the majority of the motherboard out. Let's just make sure we get it all out. Take the cover off that screw and unscrew it. And on your diagram, as always, I can't stress enough how important it is to have this diagram, otherwise you will really struggle to get it back together. Right, let's undo the connectors. So there's the camera, and the camera will just lift out there. Next we have the screen digitizer and screen itself and three more connections here ok that's all them out and then with all these out and not forgetting the antenna connection at the bottom and the screw at this position here. Right. Next bit to take the SIM card tray out, paper clip, and fold it is ideal. And just push it in. Take the SIM tray out, micro SIM in there, and this one. Okay, and then we should be ready to take the motherboard out. Lift straight up from the back and right. out. Now we'll just have to lift the Put my speaker assembly out, which again one of your pry tools is useful for. Okay, and that's just so you can get two of the screws in the bottom. Okay. Right, so we've got this far. Now we need to take out the four corner screws here. And we need to take these all the way out. Right, now the next tip is really, really important. In order to get this screen out, there are one, two, three screws on this side, and one, two, three screws on the other side. Do not take these all the way out. If you take these all the way out, you will really struggle to get them back in. So just loosen them off. Just a couple of turns should do it. Or a couple of half turns. Sometimes it can be useful just to use a knife just to get the corn started. And then we'll go on to the pry tools to prevent any sort of damage. And there we go. I'm going to take the screen out just to make sure that these go through that gap there. Excellent. There's your old screen. And just put that to one side. Okay. Right. In most cases the adhesive's okay. If you do have to replace the adhesive we do sell that, you might want to just make sure that you clean up the edges. Make sure there's no glass shards in there. I'm 
of the things you do need to do sometimes is take the surround for the camera from the front screen and place it back around the camera making sure it's aligned correctly Yeah. Right. Get a new screen. Completely brand new. And another thing to salvage off the other one is just the surround for the headphone or head the speaker. And Lift that off the old one, stick it straight onto the new one. Make sure you watch your fingers while you're doing this because the old ones are often covered in bits of glass. So. I'll stick that straight onto the back of the new screen. Right. Now, make sure when you place the screen back in, you put the connectors through the holes correctly. Make sure you keep a hold of the digitizer connection as you pull it through, because if you don't, you'll end up putting it back on multiple times. It really needs to pull through. You really must be able to pull it through. Not brute force, but just enough to get it through. Right. And now, if you've taken it apart nicely, it should go together really fairly easily, just like that. 